So good morning, welcome along to Eclipse Motorcycles on a bright Monday morning. Today we're going to be looking at this and this is the Keyway k Light. So we're just going to have a quick look around the bike on this one. We've got bulbed indicators to the front and a bulbed front headlight. Really does look nice and naked from the front of this bike. Side ignition key on this one, similar to the Michigans. And very, very easy access to all those engine components brake fluid reservoir at the front very easy access to the spark plug this one has a kick start as well and those front pegs on this one nice exhaust to it as well and you've got those gas shocks and a nice tail hugger to the rear and a nice high stop light on this bike as well with a number plate right down the bottom so very very nice on this lower driver seat and a higher passenger seat on this one and just getting in close just looking at these clutch levers and the brake levers very very wide levers on this very very chunky and they do an excellent job of gripping your hands on this one so what we're going to do we're going to take this one out this has got the combined braking system on it as well I'm going to take a seat on the bike and just show you some of the controls on this now this does have a side stand cut out only has a side stand on this one but it does have a side stand cut off switch on it so it means that you do have to have the bike off the side stand to start it up just turn the ignition on nice single gauge to the front which is what i do like you've got a nice rev counter around the outside a beam indicators neutral engine light all light up at the bottom and a nice big miles per hour and your odo to the center of the bike on the mirrors on this one i've literally got zero shoulder in this mirror so a very very nice wide mirror on this one and they're very easy to adjust as well which is what i do like on these keyways Nice little bit of decorative trim here as well with the 202 logo on it. All nicely placed and a lovely set of low bars. Now the indicators on this one are slightly different. There is no cancel button on these. You have to press them twice to cancel. So at the bottom, we've got the indicator controls. You've got your run and kill button, start button, cross on the left, the horn, your main beam and your indicator to the bottom. So obviously when you press the indicators, one turns them on and another press turns them off. Very, very Harley-esque on this bike. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this one out, get it on the road and see what it's like. So starting the bike up. And it's got a lovely deep growl to that engine on this bike as well. Very, very low deep rumble to this. So we're going to take it out. Standard box on this one, one down and four up. So five speed box. And then just taking it out into traffic. As you can tell from that engine, that's got a very, very low deep growl to the engine. Obviously when my visor are up so you can get a little bit of a, an idea of what the bike is like. So we're going to take this one out, we're going to get some miles on it and uh, show you what this little bike can do. We're just puddling along, bringing it up to speed very, very slowly just one mile on this bike at the moment for the purposes of ride testing we're going to get about 20 on it just wind it along and uh, take it nice and steady a very very cold morning this morning the roads are a little bit on the damp side as well so obviously on new rubber i'm going to be taking it a little bit easier so just coming in and we're going to give it a nice handful of front brake on this one and just pull it down obviously bedding those front brakes in very very effective on the front and then when we pull off the dual carriageway we're going to give it a nice big load of rear brake and just check out that combined braking system on this now the seating on this with pegs forward it does bring your knees up quite high so if just looking down you can see how high my knees are up on that tank now obviously i'm quite a long-legged rider but it is still very very comfortable on this bike definitely would suit the shorter rider so if you're about five foot four, five foot five, or you happen to be a female, it's a very, very nice bike to actually ride. But it does tuck your knees up quite a bit. So just winding it along, that was the quick burst up to 45. I'm going to ease it back now. Just taking our time on this bike. Sit it a nice steady 40, 42 mile an hour. And we're just going to rack some mileage up on this one. And obviously the uh, 
the Keyways did have two very very popular models they had the uh, Super Light which was a huge seller very very similar to the Michigan and then obviously they brought out this K Light which is like the bobberized version of it and I do like these little K lights very very comfortable seat position but obviously it does tuck your knees up quite away into that tank but with those forward facing pegs it's very very comfortable feet in front of you and does the job very very effectively handling on this is very very good holds a nice straight line but with those big chunky levers you've got a nice grip of everything which is what I really like obviously thinner levers on most bikes but these ones are really really chunky so you can get a good feel of both of those levers while you're riding and obviously with these mirrors it's so wide I've got the entire first and second lane and the central reservation in that outside mirror so very very nice view of the road behind on my near side I can literally see the uh, the merge off lane as well so it's a very very good I'd say about eight to ten foot of mirror of road there that you can get in that mirror so very very wide mirrors and very very good low position as well so there's no shoulder in any of my mirrors nice big center dial on that so it just shows you what we are riding along at two miles on the bike and very very easy to see the rev counter and I do like that blue backlit display so very very good for daytime riding but it's going to be exceptional for nighttime riding as well with those nice wide bars on it arms in a very very comfortable position as well not as obviously high as what a Michigan would be but it is still a very very comfortable ride and it does handle well so obviously uh, a lot of bikes coming into the garage at the moment and we've got our first batch of eight turned up we've got another eight turning up today another eight turning tomorrow and a lot of bikes coming in so if you are looking for something like a keyway or you're looking at a Lexmoto product they are now all coming onto the market and what better time obviously everybody's starting school and college now to get yourself out on a, a 50 or a 125 and get yourself out on the road enjoying the freedom of being on a motorcycle which is the one thing that I do love now just coming off a dual carriageway and we're just going to left hand indicator and just looking down very very easy you don't need that centre of the hole you can actually see those front indicators working both sides so you're not going to forget that uh, you've got these on and then obviously the one press just turns them off again very very Harley-esque on this one And the bike has a very very nice deep grumble to it as well so very very easy just to use those thumbs just to get to all the controls so very very easy access to all the controls on this so we're just going to pull it in and then i'm going to clutch in and a nice big handful of rear brake and that really does stop very very quickly so absolutely perfect on that so just as we wait for the lights to change and then we're going to corner it into the roundabout and just see how it handles through the corners obviously it's very very early in the morning but the roads are exceptionally busy today everybody heading off to work after furlough obviously those getting ready to go shopping I do love the sound of that exhaust on this, it's really, really effective. Lovely deep grumble for that uh, little 125. And once again, nice handful of front brake. And that pulls in very, very nicely. And then once again, in on the front brake again, and a pair of both. So front and rear and that really does pull up nicely so braking system very very effective off these disc brakes on this Keyway K light now obviously with these low bars it's very very easy to get your head over your shoulder and do those shoulder checks 
and pushing it through the corners, these tyres do grip the road very, very well. A nice set of tyres on this one as well. And then bringing it up to speed. Now the only thing that I would like is obviously a gear indicator. Just to tell you what gear you were in, but this Keyway K-Lite doesn't have one of those, so it's just a matter of memory. So obviously I'm used to a six-speed box, so I always tend to go for an extra gear, which isn't there. Now five miles on the clock, the bike is handling absolutely perfectly, very very low, very very stable, very low centre of gravity on this one, compared to other bikes. And very very easy to use your main beam just to flash the lorries in as well, just to let them know that they are passed. That's a very very bright light on the front of this one. So it's running the H4 3535 bulb in the front of this one. And if you happen to know your bulbs, you'll know the H4 bulbs are very, very bright. Which is standard on most motorcycles now. Obviously some people do, do say that they would like a, a bigger wattage bulb, but you're going to be burning your headlight out. So stick with the, uh, the stock battery. The 3535 does a good job. And then what we're going to do, we're going to come off the dual carriageway here. I'm just going to take in some of those uh, urban roads while we're on the ride test. Have a little bit of a, a run around town. And once again, these indicators very, very easy just to flip on and off. And a nice uh, visual display in the centre just to tell you that your indicator's on, but you can see down the front indicator flashing away so it's very very easy just to look down either look for your centre control or just see if you've got either of your indicators on and just leaning it through the roundabouts even on these uh, forward facing pegs that's a lovely job of getting through those corners Power delivery, very, very good for a 125. So just feeding it round the roundabouts, and it does lean exceptionally well. Now obviously, I'm bedding these tyres in for the customer. But obviously, as an experienced rider, you know how far to get the lean on the bike to bed the tyres in. But even with only six miles on the clock, on fresh tyres, tyres are doing a lovely job. No skittering at all and no drift either off that rear wheel. So traction is very, very good on this one. So what we're going to do, we're going to take in a, a slightly different route this morning, just have a, a wander around some of these back roads. And it rev matches down that box very, very nicely. delivery on this is lovely and then up into the 30 mile an hour sections so even puddling around town or puddling around on your 30 mile an hour roads it's chugging away below me obviously I'm using very very low revs just to see what the torque factor is on this bike but it does it very very well A little bit of a longer ride on this one because obviously this is the first time in ages that I've had a, a different bike other than the Lex Moto in the workshop. I did want to try out obviously some of the back roads, get a little bit of a longer ride in it, and just see what the comfort is like on this after about 10 miles. But uh, it's very, very low, very, very stable, and it just folds through these roads. Absolutely lovely. So if you are in the market for one of these, go and check them out. Obviously the Keyway K lights and the Super lights, a little bit more money than your Lex Modos. 
a very very nice ride from these so definitely worth that little bit more money if you are into your cruisers or you're into your bobbers and you want something a little bit different obviously these come with the same two year warranty as other bikes two years parts and labour parts are very very easy to get for these as well but I do love that deep grumble from that exhaust and with those hand controls very very easy to cancel those indicators off as well Final couple of miles, we're going to go uh, a slightly different route now. We're going to do a little bit of back roading. Get down through one of the old villages. But very, very easy, obviously, with the low bars, just to uh, get those shoulder checks in. Absolutely beautiful. I do like this little keyway. One of my favourite bits of road. And there's a lovely little uh, load of speed bumps down here where I can actually test out the suspension on this and just uh, see how she handles over the speed bumps, over the potholes, over the nice high bridge before we make our way back to the garage it's almost halfway through the first ride test and it just soaks up them speed bumps they're just coming off this speed bump hard absolutely lovely so it's quite a few speed bumps this way where I can just uh, obviously try the suspension out and that suspension is just soaking that up with those gas shocks on the back. So very, very impressed with this little uh, K-Lite. And obviously the customer is due to pick this up in about a week's time. But he's going to be very, very impressed with the handling and the performance of this bike. Very, very nice. He has been phoning me up every day, is it ready, is it ready? No it's not, it's not had it's first ride test yet. Another speed bump and that just soaks it up. Those front shocks really doing a good job on this one. And very, very easy just to downshift on this one. Just to get some extra revs on it. And the gearbox is very, very smooth, crisp. It's not missing out on any of its gears as well. No false neutrals on this one. That we do get with some of the bikes we have to be really decisive with the foot nice big bump there and it sails over it absolutely lovely so just make it our way back to the garage then test the first ride test we are exactly 10 miles well nine miles in so by the time we get back that'll be 10 miles half the ride mileage done and another second vlog to come up in about three days time another set pdis qc's obviously it's had the first pdis first qc sailed through those all down to me to ride it absolutely zero issues with this little bike absolutely love it and then we've got another set of PDIs and second set of bolt checks and QCs and the final ride test before I give it the thumbs up to get the clear to go to the customer. But that is just what we do at Eclipse. Double check everything that we do, hence why we have zero bikes back, obviously, with some people. They'll go to a dealership bike in six days. We're taking about 14 to 16 days now to turn bikes around, so... We're getting a bit quicker at turning these around. Obviously, we had a huge amount of bikes coming through over the first four weeks when we went into lockdown. So we're just starting to clear all those bikes out now, and we've now got the next lot of Titans in for all the customers. But this one, absolutely gorgeous little ride. And we're just going to see what this is like pulling up a slope when the lights change, just to see uh, how talky this little engine is. Obviously, it is only a 125, but uh, obviously, when run in, it's going to have loads of grunt. It really does pull well through that gearbox. 
So if you are in the market for one of those bikes, obviously, as I say, give the guys at Eclipse Motorcycles a call. Got a huge range of bikes, so uh, Lex Motos, Keyways, the Royal Alloys, and we've got a very nice selection. If you're into bigger bikes, 600cc upwards, we can do those for you as well on a used selection. Absolutely no issues pulling up that hill. Straight up the speed. And I've still got another couple of gears under my foot as well, so up in the top gear and chug it away in that top gear. So it's very, very lo low torque on this one. And it does pull very, very well from the off. Nice lot of potholes and that suspension just soaking it up. So it's first ride test completed, all good for me, very happy with the performance of this bike and as always if you enjoyed it leave your comments in the section below. do like to hear from all my uh, subscribers on this what they actually think of the bikes that are being ridden and I would like to know your thoughts as well on extras, obviously we did on some of the bikes about the extras on bikes so do leave your comments below, thumbs up or thumbs down, entirely up to you don't forget to smash the hell out the notifications bell. And as always, all the social media, the easiest way to find it, straight off the website, revbomb.co.uk. Eclipse Motorcycles on the first page at the bottom. All my social media is in my social media channel. That's my Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and my YouTube. And then uh, let us know what you think. Until then... On behalf of RB, be well, ride safe, and until the next vlog, it's a big goodbye from me.